thanks in part to sites like YouTube. Internet users are not only used to web video, oftentimes they prefer it. Helping this cause even more, Google is increasingly showing video content right in line with text results. This is helpful for several reasons, the most obvious being that your video stands out much more prominently than all the other text around it, as you can see in this picture. The result above takes you to a YouTube video, but there is something more important to take away. Most of the reason website owners don't like video centers around one of two things. Either A, they don't know how to optimize video for search engines, or B, they just don't know how to create engaging videos, or so they think. Just like the title tag of a page is probably the most important on-site SEO factor for your website, using relevant targeted keywords for your videos is equally important, and that's what helps videos rank organically. Since we know that search engines, and we're talking predominantly about Google since they're the biggest, not only index video, but prominently give a thumbnail to the image, video can and should be something you consider when it comes to marketing online. Throughout this article, I'm going to share with you some tips, resources, and things to consider when incorporating video into your website. In future training, we'll go deeper into specific products used to create compelling web video, but use this as your foundation. In August 2009, more than 161 million viewers watched an average of 157 videos per viewer, according to data from the Comscore Video Metric Service. A whopping 81.6% of the total U.S. internet audience viewed online video, and the average online video viewer saw 9.7 hours of video in August. That is an impressive stat. Did you catch that out of the 161 million people that watched a video in August 2009, the average user watched 157 videos? 157. Several of the most popular reasons for not doing video are the fear of non-searchability, which is described above, and a time-consuming editing process. For those looking to add video to their websites, here are some of the best products and ways you can do it. To properly shoot web video, here's what you'll need. One, a good HD camera and possibly a tripod. On the low end, there's this Flip Mino HD that costs less than $200. Next, you'll need editing software like Final Cut, which is a more top-of-the-line product, iMovie, which is an entry-level product if you're on a Mac, or Camtasia for screencast. You'll need proper lighting and really good audio. I personally like the Rode Podcaster for screencasts, it's a studio quality USB microphone for about $200, and it's great for screencasts. If you're shooting video, not screencasts, where either you are going to be on the screen or you're videoing something, you'll need a good microphone to get the best audio. The built-in speaker simply won't cut it if you're trying to make professional videos for your website. This Rode video microphone could be something to consider if you don't want to use a wireless mic. And again, this is for all non-screencast recordings. And finally, here's something to remember. I would even argue that sound can be more important than picture in some cases, especially if you're doing any sort of training program or instructional videos. Keep that in mind when evaluating the hardware being used to capture your sound. There are some cheaper headset microphones that would be a very good alternative if you don't want to spend a little bit extra money for a Rode product that costs less than $100. Next, I want to talk about distribution. The important point to note is that you want to, one, use a popular distribution platform like YouTube, Vimeo, or Blip.tv for hosting your videos. Two, you want to make them public. And three, remember to use relevant keywords to describe the video, as more often the title of your video is the title tag of the page where it's hosted. For added visibility, consider using several video hosting sites for your videos. Just because you upload it to YouTube doesn't mean you can't also upload it to Vimeo and Blip TV if you'd want. I've seen several people do this, and I think it's a great strategy. You can then take the video, once it's uploaded, to one of those service providers or all of them, and embed it to your website or blog. To have your video take full advantage of potential search engines and, quote, site-loyal traffic, or people who prefer to watch videos on Vimeo or YouTube, you'll want to first publish it to one of those main hosting sites, the main video hosting sites, then embed it on your site. Like almost any other media online, you want to allow people to consume your media in as many different venues as possible, and it's incredibly easy to do with video. Some people won't know to go to your site, but they may happen to be on YouTube watching something else and discover your video. 
While it may be tempting to not use one of the mainstream video hosts for more control over design and aesthetic, remember that for most people online, the videos created are used to entice, engage, and just attract visitors to your site. Let's talk about cost. So for less than $2,000, you should be able to get a nice set of equipment to shoot and edit quality video online. Yes, you can spend a lot more than that, but if your goal is a combination of quality and a reasonable price, this should more than cover your cost to purchase the necessary equipment. Finally, if you see a site where you just love the quality or construction of their videos, email the site owner and ask them what specifically they're using to accomplish that. To prove that web video can be created at extremely reasonable prices, let me outline my personal expenses for the software and hardware to create the very video you're watching right now. I'm using the Rode Podcaster mic and mic holder, which cost about $250 on Amazon. I'm using Keynote, which is about an $80 program through Best Buy, Apple, or any popular retailer. And I'm using Camtasia for Mac, which is a $99 program to bring it all together, to edit the sound, to make everything line up, and then produce the video. So for a total cost of $440, I'm able to capture, shoot, edit, and create the very video you're watching right now. Don't ignore the power of video when it comes to marketing online. Video presents a very unique opportunity to add a personal and more credible feel to your site, while at the same time allowing your visitors to consume your media in a manner they typically prefer. You don't have to spend a fortune either. As you have seen in this video, you can create high quality, engaging videos for a lot less than you probably thought.